Sleepless in Saigon. I loved this piece. It was atmospheric, had gorgeous attention to the details of the environment, the set dressing, so we automatically knew where we were, and it felt lived in. Um, and I thought the, the musical elements really brought us into the time, era, and the mood brilliantly. Uh, great dialogue, because it felt natural, it felt fresh, um, and, and playful throughout. Um, I also love that it was based on a true story. I think that's super effective. And that image of the two fish circling one another was this great full circle symbol to tie the piece together. Um, and just kind of left us with these two people, a chance encounter, and them kind of assessing the situation while always keeping the other one in their, their eye line. So quite brilliantly done. Hey, I'm commenting on Sleepless in Saigon. Um, I thought that this was a really just fun, breezy piece that was, you know, just packed with uh, double entendre and I guess, you know, just uh, the performative qualities of, you know, how how we have to sort of go through life sometimes when, you know, we're not really sure of a situation and we're just sort of feeling it out. Um, and yet I appreciated the fact that both of the characters also sort of had a confidence about them. Um, you know, uh, there was uh, sort of an inevitability to, I think, where we uh, where we end up. Um, and I thought all that worked very well. Um, and, you know, and then, of course, it was uh, kind of fun to uh, realize that this was all, you know, based on the actual story of these two uh, actors. Um, uh, the only thing that didn't totally work for me was, uh, the wink at the end. Um, I'm not always a big fan of, you know, breaking the fourth wall, um, but that's kind of just a matter of my taste, and, you know, it's definitely, um, a, a bold choice, no matter how you look at it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I thought you did a really nice job on this. Uh, nice work. Well done. I love the music in Sleepless in Saigon. I think it really sets the tone for the short film. It goes so well with the setting. Um, it creates the sense of a, of a love story. It's really sweet, very cute. Um, and it's really great to, uh, to hear that it's based on a true story. I just got done watching Sleepless in Saigon. This was really cool. I think it had some beautiful cinematography in it. I loved the music. The music had this awesome balance between being traditional and having this really cool, like big band 1940s era coming through it. And I loved that combination with that. I thought it was awesome. Um, all of the actors, I think, did a fantastic job. They were a joy to watch. I liked the rapport that was going on between all of them. I just, I wasn't sure of what the relationship was at first between um, the girl who was there and the guy. I wasn't sure what he was doing and it kind of became clear that he, he was a tailor. He was a kind of a dresser. Um, I think the story was really cool. I, I liked where they were taking this and where they were going with it. It was just kind of a couple of moments seemed a little bit disjointed. Um, specifically going into the lunch, it just felt very abrupt. But other than that, I mean, I loved it. Hi, these are my thoughts on Sleepless in Saigon. I thought this was a really sweet short. I thought it was beautifully shot. Um, definitely had tones of like in the mood for love um, and with the way that it was the, the color saturation and the composition of the shots. I thought were really beautifully um, done and really thoughtful. I also love that it was based on a true story. I thought the script did a really great job of making these characters come to life. And so when you find out that it's based on a true story, you're like, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and also seeming as though the leads that it was based on um, were playing themselves, which I thought was really sweet and would speak to the really great chemistry that they had. Um, I love the subtlety and the nuances of the love story um, and the sexual tension that was built in just to the fitting of the suit. It was really subtle 
uh, but really effective and really beautifully done, not too heavy handed. Um, and I think that uh, all of those things really work together to create uh, a really like like beautiful tapestry that's a love story, um, but uh, also feels like uh, like a real snapshot from these people's lives, um, like a meaningful snapshot and all of those things really uh, came through. This was just beautiful. It was elegant. Um, I really loved the, the wardrobe, the set design, the sort of dreamlike quality to it all, the literal wink to the camera, all that played really well. Um, I just, yeah, I love this, the hyper realism of it all, but um, also still with a really sort of grounded premise. Um, yeah, just all in all, really enjoyed this one. I thought it was really well done. So great work.